least one third of these people with diabetes have some form of diabetic eye disease, but predominantly diabetic retinopathy. This is a international emergency. About 415 million people worldwide have diabetes, with 75% of them living in low and middle income countries. By 2040, it's predicted one in 10 adults will have the disease, with the biggest growth in poorer countries. This poses a significant risk for the health systems and economies of these countries, as they carry the burden for treating diabetes and its complications. Diabetic retinopathy affects about 33% of people with diabetes, with 10% having an advanced, vision-threatening form of the disease. DR is the leading cause of vision loss in working age adults, and as diabetes rates increase, so will the number of people with diabetic retinopathy. Going blind is devastating, and of the complications of diabetes, it's the biggest concern for people. DR doesn't have symptoms. People won't know they have it until they start losing their vision. Diabetic retinopathy scares me because people know so little about it. They thus present late when it is much more difficult to save their sight and to give any intervention that they may need. Blindness is sadly one of the most severe complications of diabetes and effective diabetes management with regular eye examinations and availability of timely treatment are essential if we're going to make an impact on diabetic retinopathy. There are only 205,000 ophthalmologists in the world and it's impossible for them to be able to do all the eye examinations needed for people with diabetic retinopathy. There is the opportunity to go beyond doing more of the same isolated interventions and instead create a collective approach to improving eye health outcomes for people with diabetes. Screening for diabetic eye care needs to be an integral part of primary health care for people with diabetes. So it's really important that we work in teams and in partnership with the primary care setting. I'm delighted that the International Diabetes Federation and the Fred Hollows Foundation from Australia have got together to produce a guide, Diabetes Eye Health, a guide for health professionals to meet the challenge that faces us. The guide provides practical advice to support and facilitate early diagnosis. It's an excellent tool to improve care for people with diabetes through encouraging integration and cooperation across the health systems. It's essential that we give primary care practitioners, the family doctors, the means by which they can identify what needs to be done to give proper care to people to prevent retinopathy developing. The ICO guidelines were developed from an ophthalmic perspective. These new guidelines extend that approach to include what's required in primary care to actually provide adequate eye care for those people with diabetes. A first line health workers in my part of the world will find the information it contains extremely useful in knowing what to tell the patients that they encounter every day. We must act now to ensure every person with diabetes can access these sight-saving health services.